Hello, welcome back to the obsolete uh, fuel pump engineered obsolescence, homesteading Northwest Florida. So I got this uh, fuel level sensor all hooked up here now. I'm going to turn on my ohm meter. And uh, okay, that is empty, is 0.82 ohms. 0.83 something like that maybe these style of brushes which are different than the other ones than the old ones that were on this Delphi are better or you know this thing does wobble quite a bit but I think they all do but okay I'm gonna lift the fuel level and you can see the ohm meter go down in a in a uniform fashion. There we go. We got the highest level is like this, 0 0.07. And then when I put it all the way down, we got 0.82. So we'll see what happens. Also, I will be doing, and here's my schematics of these wires. I'll hook everything up again and see if everything looks right at the connector because the wires, I did have to change some pins into this connector. So I took a before picture, so I'll get those all set up and run a test of the temperature sensor and everything up at the top of the pump at this connector. We can maybe run some tests. So, we'll see what happens. And we'll see what happens when this gets put it back into the truck. Because I could run my, uh, my pump on a, bat on a battery pack. So yeah, this is moving around, but at least it's showing us something here. I'm lifting the float up as high as it'll go so we'll see what happens I don't know what to tell you but uh, we'll see if I get that code but I did pump fuel out of my uh, tank with this pump so the pump works and I could order another which I may do order another cheapo pump and then we'll, we're gonna see here what we can get out of this temperature sensor all right, well, let's check it right now. Let's see what happens. Here we got black. It should be ground. Oh, and we're still getting that one because we didn't disconnect this yet. That must mean open, that eye there. But I'm going to put this into this ice. in here mm, maybe that's fried out too maybe I gotta switch that to the uh, new thing new temperature sensor as well maybe this got fried out look at this thing. I thought I got a reading before from this, but... Mm, not doing anything. Oh, there we go. I got three point... Now it's going down. So... Let's see if it goes up. Let's see if it has no... Oh, yeah, that's the temperature sensor hooked up. Now it's going down quickly as it gets air temperature. 3.28. Ooh, that's interesting, huh? What does that go down to? Hmm. 
Hmm. We don't have it on ohms here. Oh, now it's going up again. What is going on with that? Yeah, I'm putting it back in this ice water, ice in general. Now the reading is going up. Hmm, very interesting. So I think that works. So I am not going to switch it out. The other one did come with one, but it looks pretty cheesy. And here's all the parts I'm not using are the float, the everything like that. The spade connectors cut off, have one wire with this. And there's the old chipboard. They say they're ceramic, but. You know, there's no way that that should cost uh, fifty dollars or forty-two or anything like that for these parts. Not really. I don't think they should. So we're not paying that. All right, this thing in the ice water it leveled out at three. Well, it's going up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna take it out of the ice water. There we go. Let's see what happens. No, it's definitely doing something, so it's working. Three point, and now I have it on the, like, not 20k ohms, just the ohms in general. The dot there. I hope you can see that. Oh, let's look at the home meter. Now it's going down. So I think that's still working. So, very, very interesting and cool. All right. That's about all I got to say. And this is a El Cheapo fuel level sending unit from uh, eBay. Actually, I might bend this arm a little bit. Because, boy, this thing goes right to the bottom. But maybe it's supposed to do that, but, you know, like how high up is high up. We'll have to see. And we'll see if we get that code again. You know, we'll, we'll see. But this is a different type of deal, so I'm going to take a look at the old one. And maybe this style of brushes, although they seem very simple, will work better. Alright, thanks for watching.